here and I'm back with a new video and uh, I'm gonna show you how to install Hyperion 9 on Samsung Galaxy Way uh, first of all you should have your uh, phone rooted up and uh, obviously you have to download the uh, two zip files to the root of your SD card and uh, just follow the steps as I'm mentioning so let me show you you have to place the two files in the root of your SD card the first one is the Hyperion 09DXNG1GM FinalDepil.zip and the second one is a clockwork mode by Beal Pura uh, Well I know the uh, video quality is a little bit shitty But I promise you guys that I will uh, buy a new uh, webcam I am actually having a uh, budget problem here I have to buy a phone also, I have to buy a uh, new camera also I have to buy some head uh, one headphone also So you know it's a very tight budget so I have to match all this Okay It's quite sharp enough Okay so here are the files The first one is the Hyperion as you have already seen And the second one is the temporary clock of the B This one So what do we wanna do is uh, Just power off your phone is now turned off so what do we want to do is uh, press this volume up button uh, and the home button and the power key all together uh, we have to boot in the recovery mode by pressing the three combination buttons here when the samsung galaxy wire logo appears like this release them ok now we are in the recovery mode uh, so uh, we have to uh, select a library from a uh, if you uh, in this recovery mode you have to move, if you have to move up and down you can use the volume up and down keys obviously and the um, menu button to select the options uh, for example I have to select apply update from SGR so I will press the volume down key and select the home button ok and uh, so now here we have to select the temporary clock mode by btv.3 uh, which you can see this is the zip file here this one the below one temporary clock mode by btv.3 is also i have provided the links in the description do download them ok now we added temporary clock mode recovery 5.0.2.8 by btv.3 so the same, same procedure applies here also we have to use volume up and down keys to scroll up and down and the home button to select the options so what do we want to do is go to the mounts and storage I guess it is clear enough yes and format system data and cache first you will format the system uh -huh. first you will format the system
the installation get completed I'm actually having a wait of time with uh, managing with this webcam because of this shitty quality and shitty audio voice uh, I actually bought a new microphone with for my computer but uh, it seems to be of no use because the uh, audio quality is damn horrible so I'm planning to buy a new camera maybe a DSLR or SLR or whatever which fits in my budget so I'll try to focus on the cameras these days ok let's focus on the main thing that's really fun ok the installation is completed so just we have to go back and just uh, go to the advanced option yeah and select wipe, wipe dalvik cache select yes ok and then select the wipe battery, battery series the say third option yes then again go back and then select reboot system now now let for the hyperion 09 to be booted up <sighs> yeah uh, I'm gonna inform you guys that I'll be having a live question and answer se session every Saturday and the Indian standard type you can ask any questions regarding your uh, room your, you want to select regarding your kernels regarding some theme or something or some mode whatever you like regarding galaxy Y or any other phone you like you can ask me in the youtube comments i will try to answer as many as possible and ok so here is the hyperion logo the hyperion board animation for the piece to get booted up huh. uh. just wait for 2 to 3 minutes I guess it should boot up or maybe uh, wait 5 minutes it won't be a problem for you guys should boot up in around 1 to 2 minutes let's leave it here ok the room is now booted up and uh, here is a boot screen this video do hit, a hit the like button and subscribe button and do comment if you have any problem regarding this one.